So I will speak about the Islamophobia. Now, when you say phobia, this is the fear of something. So there are people who have phobia from the dark, from closed places, from meeting people. So when we say Islamophobe, what is scaring them? What is making them frightened of Islam? Something they don't like. I can agree with that. I have no problem. If people fear something in Islam and they don't like, I have no problem with that. Must everybody like Islam? No. You don't like Islam, no problem. But when you act aggressively, when you attack, this is not Islamophobe. There is a big difference. So when someone speaks ill about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, excuse me, I'm an old man. Some of the brothers here, the youngsters, drink with their left hand. What's the ruling? Halal haram. Haram. The Prophet said alayhi wa sallam, if you drink, drink with your right. If you eat, eat with your right. If you give, give with your right. If you take, take with your right, because shaitan eats, drinks, gives, and takes with his left. So, while talking, I see people drinking with the left. I cannot stop them and say, Sheikh, please don't. Yeah, and it's embarrassing. So this is a general reminder. Never raise your hand, the left, to the mouth. It's a sin. And the Prophet saw, alayhi salatu wasalam, someone drinking and eating with his left hand. So he said to him, eat with your right hand. The man out of arrogance said, I can't. So the Prophet said, may Allah make you never can. So the man's hand was paralyzed. Very dangerous. I don't know why they're laughing. <laughs> this is serious. When you become paralyzed, this is serious. The Prophet made dua against you. So never raise your hand to the uh, left hand to your mouth. Now I'm wasting time so that one hour is finished. The, the topic can be easily finished in five minutes, but just to accommodate time. So when they started to speak ill about the Prophet ﷺ, depicting pictures, Charlie Hebdo in France, in Sweden, in uh, Holland, writing things about the Prophet ﷺ. This is not Islamophobe. This is hatred. This is aggression. When they started burning the Quran and disrespecting it, and this started in 2005 in Guantanamo Bay, when the American soldiers wanted to torture the Muslim prisoners. And the Muslim prisoners did not do anything. So they did not know what to do. So they started to take the Quran, tear it up, throw it in the toilet. And the Muslims were outraged. And this is what they did. And they started to try to disrespect the Quran in Bangladesh, in Afghanistan, in Europe, in Germany, in Sweden, in many, many different countries. Then they started to attack the hijab. First, they started to attack the niqab of women. Okay, we take the niqab off. They started attacking the hijab, the head covering. No problem, we take it off. They started attacking modesty. So even if a girl goes to, ho to, to the school wearing decent clothes, no, no, you have to wear a bikini, go to the swimming pool with other boys. This is serious. This is ha they're forcing girls and boys in Sweden, in Norway, in Denmark to have physical education mixed. How can I take my daughter there? How can I take my son? When my son is a teenager and he sees his classmate with him, we say we're Muslims. Say, no, this is not, not good. So say, okay, we want homeschooling. No, we will put you in prison and we will take your children and give them to Christian families. This is what they're doing in Sweden, by the way. All immigrants, Syrian, Iraqis, Afghanis who go there, few months, they take the children. Why? Physical abuse, child abuse, you're not good parents. And they give it to Christian families. And this is democracy? Is it Islamophobe? No, it's not Islamophobe. It's hatred against Islam. So, when you look at this continuous attack against Islam, why? What did we do to them? In Indonesia, how many Muslims, mashallah? 300 million? 240? I am not very good in math. So let's make it an even number. 300 million. 300 million Muslims, mashallah. What did you do to them? Why do they hate you? If we wanted to be aggressive and we wanted to fight and hate them, if we spit on them, they will drown. If you just Muslims, they will drown. The whole country will drown. 
So many Muslims. So why do they hate Islam? Now, they hate Islam because they are bullies. They came 100 and 150 years ago. They took our lands. They took our wealth. They enslaved us in India, in here, Holland, in, in all Muslim countries were conquest by these disbelievers. Now we're becoming, alhamdulillah, a strong power. We're becoming independent. They don't want this. They want us to be their slaves. So they are bullying us.